Hey YouTube, what is up everybody? How's it going? This is your homeboy, Seth McDonald, 4, and I'd like to talk to you about, um, being consistent on your training and stuff. Um, yeah, it's okay, you know, to take off, you know, if you get burned out on it. It's okay, because the techniques will always be there with you when you need them. reason why I say that is due, due to the fact that due to the fact that when you take a break for a long time me, I took off a year one time due to a sprain on my foot um, I took off a year um, for that and that was that one one time ago because I thought I tore something up in it, and I wanted to heal all the way before I. And plus, I was just getting burned out on what I was doing over and over and over, and I wasn't really getting anywhere with it, and so it was like now since I kind of mixed up my programs up. You know, do different things. You know, one day I might do shadow boxing, weapons. Um, one day I might do uh, bag work. I might do speed bag work, um, calisthenics. You know, whatever it is. You know, doing something to keep myself active, as you should say. Um, moving around and stuff like that, and that's the reason why I like. Um, doing the things I do because really technically it makes me happy and um, you know it makes me into a better person when I do get a workout in when I do train um, when I'm having a bad day you know that's what I do that's what I do because it's me when other people say, oh, they train, work out, whatever it is, on, on training and stuff. They just do it just to look good. They don't do it just to feel good. Me, I do it for both. I do it for looking good and feeling good. But do I care about looks? No. I don't care about looks. I just do martial arts. I do training. I do fitness. And I do... Um, Self-defense. I mean, I do pad work. I do bag work. You know, all of the above. You name it, you can you thank you. And I want to say is that has it benefit me over the years and what I do... At, you know, at my job, what I do at my, um, around, around the house, yes, it does, and, you know, without martial arts today, you know, I would not be the person I am today, um, I'd probably been down a dark path that I probably wouldn't even want to be on, so, what is, why do I say you have to stay consistent in training? Is that if you have a goal in mind, if you if you want to look good, you know you want to look good, you want to impress others, then set a small schedule. You know, and do a workout every other day. You know, if you're a beginner, um, just stay consistent at it. And you know, if you decide, well, you want to work out two days a week, and that's all the time you have. In, in the world, it, all the time you have, it's working out two days a week. Well, then there you go. You got two hours. You got two hours in. Two hours of training in, or thirty minutes in. You know, always stay consistent at no matter what you do in life, because you can't just throw in the towel. In life, you can never give up. It's not a boxing ring. You can't just throw in the towel. You gotta stay consistent into your training. You know, as uh, 
Apollo Creed always says to Rocky and Rocky Three, one of my best Rocky trilogy movies between between the two Rocky movies I liked is three and I like the fourth one where he goes to Russia. But the third one was that he looked at Rocky and said, you know, how come you ain't taking your training serious? And he says, and then Rocky repeats to him and says, well, I want to do it tomorrow. Well, if you say there's, you know, you want to do it tomorrow, well, you never know if there is going to be a tomorrow. tomorrow. Never put off anything too late. Never put off anything too late. Why I say that is, um... Because you, you never know how great you can be. You know, not the things you want to do a lot. Because the way I see it, the way I see it is the things that, you know, what makes you happy. You know, don't care about what others want you to do. Do on what you want to do in life. You know, if you want to end up doing something, you want to go for a dream, like let's say you want to get a black belt, and, you know, your parents tell you you can't do it, you know, you ain't going for your black belt. You know, you want, you know, you go out and get a job, work for it, work all the hours you need to get, you know, to go to classes, pay your bills there for your training. And then, unless you can find somebody to train with free, then you can learn all the stuff for free. There are people like that. Um, my thing with it is, is that. Taekwondo, you know, Taekwondo, um, Korean Karate, as I call it, that's what I call Taekwondo. I call it Korean Karate because it's basically what it is. And I don't really care what anybody says. Everybody says, oh, that's what everybody calls it around here. They call it Karate, but it's not Karate. But it is a form of Karate because it came from Karate. Um, due to, um, Due to the Koreans being enslaved by the Chinese. So when you see when you see something like that that's been invented and it's just like this even though I don't do it like the type one do way, my my style is more of a kickboxing in a way. When it comes to training, but my style is actually Taekwondo. Taekwondo has to do with a lot of flashy kicks. I'm not all about the flashiness. I'm not all about um, doing anything that spectacular or fancy. Because um, usually none of the fancy stuff really works in a street fight. Um, only the simple and direct moves do. So... It's like, you know, you're boxing, um, they, they work in a street fight, um, elbows, the knees, they work in a street fight, palm strikes, hammer fizz, eye gouging, um, they all work, you know, in a street fight, but I'm not promoting street fights in my videos whatsoever. My, my system is to... Help people get in shape, you know, have a better understanding about themselves, better understanding on where they want to be at in life. But you got to stay consistent with everything you do in life because you can never throw in that towel and never give up at life. Because why I say that is, it's because as Rocky Bubble got told by Apollo Creed, because there is no tomorrow. And he's like, you always got to have the eye of a tiger. You got to have the eye of a tiger. You got to have that warrior spirit. If you don't have that warrior spirit, why bother training? You know, you got to go for what you want to go, go in life as a goal itself. You know, you got to think, I have a tiger, man. I have a tiger. That's how I see it, you know. You got to think, I have a tiger. You got to be ruthless. You got to be fearless. You know, I'm not saying, you know, be a jerk to everybody. 
but you know you gotta be ruthless and fearless in your training because you gotta you know go all out and if you don't go all out then you're not benefiting yourself so what I want to say is that you gotta have the eyes tighter man and you gotta have the heart you gotta have your mind heart soul body into it as one and find the inner warrior inside of you and all I say is God bless on this beautiful day hit the like hit subscribe and let me know your goals and let me know what you think of this video and please hit the bell and hit, hit subscribe hit all the bell notifications you will get every one of my videos as soon as they upload and like I said stay consistent with your training and never give up on whatever goals you may have in mind and you know got you know if you had set a goal of new year's resolution keep at it you know if you fail once go back at it again try again keep trying until you reach your goal and that's all i want to say for now seven dollar four starting out hit the like hit the subscribe train hard train smart do your research and have a beautiful, wonderful day, and peace.